Hi everyone, I just thought I'd uh, quickly post this video which just covers the backward bending supply curve of labour. This is an example from uh, one of my previous students who uh, responded to a five mark question on paper one and that question was uh, how can income and substitution effects be used to explain backward bending individual labour supply curves. Uh, so firstly, uh, the student started with uh, a diagram, as we can see, uh, and was awarded two marks for that diagram. Then we've got the description um, of the diagram. So at point A, which I'll just make sure we can see there, on the diagram, the wage, uh, sorry, the increasing wage causes people to want to work more hours. This is due to the fact that people will substitute leisure time to work more hours. This is a positive uh, substitution effect. This exceeds the income effect, which remember is negative at this point. And so workers uh, work more as the idea of having more money is more attractive. However, from point B uh, to point C, so let's just quickly go back to this here. Um, we can see that they start to work less hours. Um, so from point B to C, the income effect outweighs the substitution effect, and so workers will substitute working hours for more leisure time, as having more income does not make a huge difference to them anymore, and so the income effect is negative. Okay, so this allowed the student to score five marks on this, uh, this particular question, and gives us a nice review point for uh, the backwards bending supply curve. Thanks, guys.